just the water was coming in really, really quick. Flooding brought on by Idalia was their first problem. Now a federal rule might cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's called the 50% rule. I'm investigator Masa Sadie, and I found out the one way you can fight this. Good evening, I'm Stacy Scheibel. I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. This is a rule that might apply to you, but you might not even know it. If you're hit by a flood and you have extensive damage, you might not be allowed to just fix it. You might have to tear your house down and start over. Eight on your side, investigator Masa Saidi is here to untangle the complex rule. Masa? Keith and Stacy, good evening. So check out this flooding. These people have been through so much. I mean, this is their living room. Now they have to jump through another huge hoop. It's a federal rule, but local building officials determine when it applies. And if it does, it's going to cost you. When Hurricane Adalia hit Tampa Bay, some yards turned into rivers. Inside one home in Crystal River, the couch submerged. And in the bedroom, nope, that's not green paint. That is dirty water halfway up the wall. First, Chris Housen had to clean up this mess. You really don't want to rebuild? Now, Chris is waiting to find out if a federal rule will force him to tear down his home. How much does it cost to rebuild the house and put it on shelves? I mean, like our, our neighbor just built that house across the street. Probably about $500,000 just for the structure itself. FEMA's so-called 50% rule can cost you a small fortune. It's complex, but essentially, if you're in a flood zone and you have substantial damage, you might not be allowed to just do some simple repairs. You might have to completely rebuild at a higher elevation. Your local building official will be the one to give you the bad news. As attorney David Murray explains, FEMA's rule is triggered when the cost of repairs exceeds 50% of your home's market value. When you have over 50% damages to a structure, you're going to have to improve it. You're, they're going to make you bring that house up to current building code. You have to bring the electrical up to code. You have to bring the plumbing up to code. Not cheap. No, not cheap at all. Obviously, some storm victims cannot afford to completely rebuild. Murray outlines two ways to challenge this rule. And you can either appeal the tax appraiser's office determination of the market value, which is listed on the property appraiser site as your building value, okay. or you can go get your own appraisal. How likely is it you could be successful? It's, it can be very successful. So you might be curious, does this rule apply to me? So what you need to do, go to your local property appraiser's website, find your home's market value. This is just the value of the structure, of not of the land, of course. You want to divide that number by two. The total cost of repairs after a hurricane cannot exceed this number. If it does, this 50% rule is triggered and your building department is not going to issue you any permits to do any simple mm -hmm. repairs. Yeah. You know about this very well. Yeah. Well, it puts people in such a bad position, though. What's the purpose of the rule? Why the rule? So federal officials say they want people in vulnerable areas to upgrade their homes. They say when they don't, they're going to get flooded over and over again. Then the NFIP, or the National Flood Insurance Program, where 90% of Floridians get their flood insurance, they have to make a payment to these folks and all of us taxpayers are going to be on the hook so there's a reason that they're going to force some of these people to maybe yeah, rebuild especially those who are in low-lying areas i mean right. if you're only like six or seven feet above sea level and you have 50 percent damage you're going up on stilts that's or, right or 13 feet or so all right thank you masa if you have something you'd like masa to investigate you can call the eight on your side helpline the number 1-800-338-0808